Stu here with Raid Shadow Legends and the information they gave content creators last night about the game, new features that are, that are going to come out in 1.1315. When is it coming out? Soon. Raid Shadow Legends, play am soon? I don't know. A week, a month, a two months, who knows? Next Christmas, we don't know yet, but it should be soon. So we will keep giving you the information as we do get it. They will give it to us. What do we have? We have a new legendary barbarian that they're going to be giving us at a 180 day login reward. So we're gonna have additional 30 day login rewards. You know we already have the 90 day right now that gives us the High Katoon, Yaga the Insatiable, and then also we get Dark Aethel. Dark Aethel is not used for anything in the game. She is total, totally bad. And these new champions are actually pretty decent. We're gonna go over their skills and what they do. I actually like them. I can see clearly where we would use these champions. I think it's kind of funny though. And I do like it, and we'll we'll discuss everything they have. So there is the new legendary barbarian that they're going to give us. Looks amazing. Looks beautiful. I cannot wait to play her. <laughs> don't worry. Now, the other question that comes up, too, along with this, is why don't we have a regular 30-day login yet? Like, why aren't we taking care of... Yes, they're giving us stuff that's like fluff to say, hey, keep playing our game. Keep playing our game up to 180 days, and then we'll be back to the same issues we're at right now. Why don't we have a 30-day login? Why don't we have a way to get books? Because yes, you're giving us these champions, and though they might be useful and good for accounts, especially people who don't have good RNG or bad luck with getting their pulls, but come on, we need to address the real issues. Yes, I wanna play this champion, but I can't see clearly that I'm getting books from somewhere. There's no, there's no currency that I collect and then get books for to make sure that, hey, and in six months from now, I will fully be able to book out this new champion that you're giving me. Thank you for this new champion, but I need to be able to book out because most of these champions, especially the ones that give you like this, take an insane amount of books and we don't have those books. We definitely don't. Okay, let's just drop this down and see what the abilities are and we'll go over everything. So I think they're, I think these champions are kind of funny. They're champions that, that we need, right? They are champions that we need. We'll go over each one. Each one actually does have a place in the game and I wish they were kind of given to us I wish these were given to us as our, you know, 30 day login or our brand new champions. Let's talk about that in a minute. Let's go over each one. So the new, I guess in order, this might be our additional, you know, 30 days after 30 days to 180 days here for our legendary. So the first epic we could receive and what will happen is we'll be at our 90 days like we are right now. It'll just start everybody at your 90 day if you've been there, right? And we'll just go from 91, 92, 93. We'll log in and get it. We're not going to immediately get this legendary. It's not, it's not going to start us out at 180 days. It's going to make us go 91, 92, 93 and progress forward to get this Lego. But here we go. So for the first, first epic, attacks one enemy, decrease the target's max HP by 30%. Now we haven't really used anything to decrease target's max HP in the game before that's been effective. So that really doesn't matter to me. That's fine. A2 places a 50% increase attack buff on this champion for 20 percent uh, or for two turns i'm sorry okay let me start all over places a 50 percent increased attack buff on this champion for two turns then attacks all enemies has a 50 percent chance to place the 30 percent decrease speed debuff for two turns now keep in mind any of these percentages like 50 percent chance to apply we don't see the additional chance to apply in any of these it never shows us this because once we see it in game we'll be able to tell that hey that's not a 50 percent it actually goes up to 75 or 100 percent if we put books into it so do keep that in mind it's not always these lower percentages because we don't get to see the added for the skill books the skill tomes that we put in there so what this champion does instantly remove a freeze debuff on this champion and place 30 percent increased crit critical damage 30 percent increased critical damage and then a 15 percent strengthen buff which means they take 15 percent less damage whenever an enemy places a freeze debuff on this champion. Very cool, so this champion cannot be frozen. What does that say? Tormund, right? There's nowhere else in the game that we have to worry about freeze except for Tormund, and Tormund shouldn't really affect buffs anyways. He should just do turn meter only, and we wouldn't have to do a hard counter to Tormund. We could just fix the actual issue that's out there. Okay, fills this turn meter, fills this champion's turn meter by 25% and instantly activates skill name. I'm assuming it's this AOE here instantly activate skill name skill whenever this champion or any ally receives a freeze debuff so pretty hard counter to to torment right obviously if you're fast enough you're going to come in and kill this champion right away anyways you're going to bring rotos in and kill this champion or, or whoever else so you're not going to have to worry about it if you have torment with with you you just you know speed is everything you come in you take control of the situation you kill who you need to kill right off the bat boom they're dead they cannot be revived and you move on to take out the rest of the team very easily but it's still kind of funny and kind of cool to have this because this champion basically says, anytime you place a freeze freeze debuff on my people, I'm going to go ahead and pop you with an AOE attack right here that increases their increases their attack first. 
and it AOE everybody and has a chance to place a slow speed. So depending on how hard this hits, it's going to be pretty interesting to see. Probably not going to hit that hard because it's an epic, and you know these guys, when they give us epics like this, they don't necessarily always perform the best. But also, when this person gets frozen, they're going to get stronger, right? They're going to get an increased critical damage, increased crit rate, and then also take less damage, and then Paya hits you back with an AOE again. So maybe, again, we're going to do, this is going to be like the, the, the Torment counter with another stun set. So you put a stun set on this champion, and this champion, when you go up against Torment, is going to do these free AOEs all the time, and get stronger, and just keep AOEing. Well, what do you want with somebody that can do massive amount of AOEs? Stun set is really nice because then you're just coming in there stunning those other champions because you get a free move. You're doing damage and you're stunning. And this could happen a lot because if you know Tormund, he can freeze many, many times throughout the game. All the time. So pretty cool. I like that epic. I guess. I, I mean, I do like this epic, but still they should really they should really do something about Tormund freezing on buffs. Shouldn't do buffs. Shouldn't do heals like it doesn't already. It should only do turn meter. And then we've got an actually much better balanced champion. So going on to the next 30 days after that, we've got this epic number two. So this epic number two, when I read through it, it screams Fire Knight to me. 100% Fire Knight. And you'll know why. Because look at this. Attack one enemy two times. Attack for an additional time if they're underneath the 50% heal reduction. Attack for another time if they're underneath 100% heal reduction. So that looks like four hits total or places an extra hit. I know, does it place an extra hit off of one hit? And that could be, what, what like uh, eight hits total? Places one hit, no, that'd be six hits total, something like that. So we're either going to get it four hits or six hits if we have a 100% heal reduction up. So if you're going through Fire Knight and you have a Cold Heart with you and you get 100% heal reduction up from her A1, you come in with this champion, you hit them up, Fire Knight to bring down the shields, right? Also, attacks one enemy, has a chance to place a decreased speed debuff, decrease the turn meter of the target if the decreased speed debuff is applied. Again, that screams Fire Knight to me. We get in there, we decrease the speed, decrease the turn meter, fantastic. 100%, we get a 30% reflect buff and a 15% continuous heal buff on all allies for two turns. Now, if this is at a low cooldown, two turn for a three turn cooldown, then I'm all on board with this. I'm very happy to have this champion. I think it will perform very well against the Fire Knight. We get to go ahead and get multiple hits. We get to decrease the speed, right? Speed, speed decrease buff. And then also turn meter, get a chance to decrease the turn meter. It's by 20%, but it's still good. And then we get 100% reflect. We get reflect up with continuous heal. Now, if this is 100% uptime, then we're really, we're really talking something fancy to bring into Fire Knight. So we'll have to see, we'll have to see what the cooldowns are on this. Now, if it's two turn for, for four turn, it's not going to be as exciting, but they are giving it to us. So that's how they probably do their, their champions they give to us. But also you got to look at it in this, this respect. Raid Shadow Legends doesn't have the best track record on doing things that make sense. So this champion could be Magic Affinity. And if this champion is Magic Affinity, Polarium, if you're hearing me right now, change this champion to something else, to Spirit or Force, because it's going to make no sense for Fire Knight 20 if you give us this champion, and obviously it's, it's for it, and it's Magic Affinity. It's the weak affinity for Stage 20 of Fire Knight. So please, please do not come out and make this champion... <laughs> Magic Affinity, or we're going to have some issues, serious issues. So this legendary champion at the 180-day login, attacks one enemy, has a 20% chance to place a decreased speed debuff, also a 30% chance of decreasing the target's turn meter, very cool. Attacks all enemies two times, has a chance to place a stun. Again, we don't know the final amount, the percentage to do it because we don't see the skills down here at the bottom to increase. Could be a 25%, 30%, could be even more, but if it does it off of each hit, which it does, that's a, that's a huge... That's a lot of crowd control, right, for waves when we go through waves. Revive an ally, A3. Revive an ally with 50% HP and place ally protect for two turns. Great. We need somebody to revive and we need somebody to heal. We really need this when we log into the game. We need this instead of Shaman. We need Shaman to be something like this. We need Jizo just to be something different. And we really need a healer because out of all the real rare healers in the game, there aren't really any good ones except for Apothecary. He's the best one and you can't get him unless you get lucky enough to pull Apothecary. Unless you get a Void champion that actually is pretty good healers. They have they have pretty good rare healers as well. But as far as all the regular War Priest, we have Hex Weaver, all the ones out there, they're not good for progression in the game. They're really not. So we've always needed somebody like this. So this one has a passive that heals all allies by 10% of their max HP and then gives one random ally a 30% increased speed buff. That's amazing. So this is a passive right here. So it's just going to fire off every turn. We're going to heal, and then if somebody dies, we bring them back to life, give them an ally protect, which is actually really, really strong. 
When you bring somebody back to life at 50% HP, they're still going to get targeted and hit. When they have the 50% ally protect, it's probably going to save them. Plus, when her turn comes back around, you're going to make her really fast and really tanky. She's going to get a chance to heal. She's going to heal. She's going to heal everybody by 10% of their max HP. Then she's going to AoE and stun everybody up and then have a chance to slow speed. So this one screams just amazing progression in the game. So if you make it to 180 days and you're not... <laughs> You're not really far in the game, which you should be. You should be far in the game. You should be doing really well as long as they give you the champions to do so. Then you should be fine. If they ever come out with a Tower of Ascension, you know, where we go through the tower like all the other games out there have, where we get cool rewards throughout the month, this champion is really going to help out with, with all the waves, stunning, reviving, and healing. It's going to be really insane. And again, this epic right here is going to be very good for Fire Knight as long as this cooldown on the Reflect and the, and the Continuous Heal buff isn't crazy long it really needs to be two turn for a three turn to be effective or 100 uptime is fine with me too like three turn for a three turn would be really really cool and then right here this one is all about the torment counter which is, it just makes me laugh this one makes me laugh so it's gonna be a lot of fun we need to address other things in the game this is just fluff right this is cool things just to like everything they do is just like hey look at this have fun with it for a little bit no content this is not content guys these are just cool champions that we're gonna get for free and i do like them Yes, I do. We need a way to get books. We need content in the game. We need places to use these outside of things it, for sure it, it, it in game. So we'll see. We'll see what happens. We'll see what they give us with the new updates and everything else that is going on. Thank you all so much for watching. I appreciate the love and support and I'll see you all on a video soon.